My name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Abdul Talib My name is Muhammad bin Abdul Hamid My name is Muhammad Arif Akhna bin Abdul Wahid My name is Muhammad Badrin bin Syam Suhaimi Nihau, Muhammad Iman, Nabi bin Muhammad Sabri Okay, today we are going lab 2 which is Muscle cylinder, removal, refitting and inspection The objective of lab 2 is First, to inspect the master cylinder assembly Second, to replace all parts master cylinder assembly And third, to name all parts of master cylinder assembly Here, for the process, we make, we make sure the equipment completely Which is complete brake unit of brake, of brake master cylinder Second, tools and third Compress air or air head gun. Okay, then we inspect the master cylinder component. First, the brake reservoir. Okay, the next component is secondary piston. We can see it is in good condition. Next is the primary piston. It is still in good condition and function normally. Okay, the reservoir cap is okay and the diaphragm is still okay in good condition. Okay, the next component is the brake booster. It okay. is still in good condition. Cekat, ya. And when we press the pedal, it can reduce the force. After finish inspect the master Cekat. cylinder component, we start to dismantle the master cylinder. Cekat, bersama Melayu tu. Okay, first we remove all the brake fluid from the brake fluid reservoir.
Cuci lah. Wah. Bawa 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 aja bawa bawa bawa. Kiri. Kiri. Ah, kiri. Memang a very hero of mine. Eh, ini yang tadi yang special tu tu mana? Yang special tu untuk kunci menurut. Okay, now for cleaning process. Okay, for the for the result, I will explain about the component in the muscle cylinder. Okay, for the first component in the muscle cylinder is the brake fluid reservoir. The second component is the reservoir cap. The third part name is fluid reservoir tank. The next is the reservoir diagram. The fifth is the reservoir clip. Next, fluid control valve. Seven, stop pin vent port. Eight, reservoir housing or reservoir assembly. Nine, reservoir grommet. Ten, stop pin replenishing port. Eleven, secondary seal or rear bolt. Twelve, primary piston assembly. Thirteen, secondary piston assembly. And the fourteen, Lastly, master cylinder body or master cylinder testing. For the experiment result, let's watch this video first. Okay. 
Makan. Okay. Yeah. After inspection, we note that the booster was in good condition. The all the part is functioning perfectly. To differentiate the push rod length, we measure the we measure the length before and after braking using digital vernier caliper. So the result we get is before braking, the reading of push rod end is 28.64 mm. But after braking, the reading increased to 29.65 mm. About discussion for the subject brake system, vehicle brake system. Okay, for the question one, based on your finding, what is the effect of push rod and length to brake performance? If the push rod is too long, you will notice that the master cylinder does not slide freely up to contact the booster because the booster rod and master cylinder piston are pressing against each other. If the booster pin that is not properly set, you will notice several unpleasant system symptoms while attempting to slow or stop your vehicle. If the push rod is too long, the push rod and inner cylinder will have no gap between it. As we know, the gap between the push rod and inner cylinder is 0 0.02 inches. Okay, we move to question number two. Name type of brake oil used for your car. Can different type of brake oil be used? Why? I'm using a product Azia SE. Ma Type of brake all used in my car is dot four, dot three, dot four, and dot five point one are glycol based fluid, and dot five is silicon based. The main dif difference is that dot three and dot four absorb water, while dot five doesn't absorb water. Uh, we can use the different type of brake fluid as long as it same uh, base fluid. Okay, the dot 4 will not harm your dot 3 system in any way. Do not use dot 5 fluid, which is silicon based fluid, as it is completely different. You can possibly use dot 5.1, which is com compatible with dot 3 or dot 4. Okay, question number 3. Name hydraulic tube that connect to master cylinder and where all tubes are connected. Okay, the tube that are connected to master cylinder is hydraulic line. In bracket, hydraulic hose. All tubes are connected from master cylinder to combination valve and then metering valve. After that, all the brake fluid are transferred to brake caliper. Okay, question 4. What is the function of the diaphragm? diaphragm. The brake fluid reservoir stop either features a hole for air or is vented to allow to allow the fluid to expand and contract without forming a vacuum of pressure. A rubber diaph diaphragm moves up and down with the pressure, pressure of the fluid level, keeping dust and moisture out. When the seal on the cap become deformed, it usually means there is an issue with breaking fluid contamination okay, thank you that conclusion uh, in conclusion from experiment 2 brake system which is master cylinder inspection uh, we have learned about the condition of the brake and how it works we already run the experiment based on the purpose that is check the component in the brake cylinder and also